everyone, James back here, and it's finally back for some more VGC back-to-back -back battles here on the Doe's Bow Spot Ladder. Of course, I was away at Nationals for about a week and a half, to be honest, and it was an amazing trip. I did make Day 2 and was able to secure my world's invite, so I'm very happy. So I'll be competing at the 2015 Pokemon World Championship, and of course, sure, it would have been great to do better at Nats, but really it was only the... Um, day two that I needed in order to get my worlds invite. So now that I have that, I will be focusing on winning worlds. Of course, right now, we will be using the team that I did bring to the Pokemon US National Championship. Was able to go 8 and 1 day one. And we have the team of Kangaskhan, Clefairy, Cresselia, Landers, Varian, Thunders Incarnate, and Azumro. Also, ironically, I was the only Clefairy player out of all the Clefairy players, because there was quite a few of them at uh, Nationals or so I heard. There was quite a few people using Clefairy, and I was the only one who was able to make Day 2. So that was just really amazing. And although I think Clefairy is a great Pokemon, I think it's not going to be the right call for Worlds, so I'm happy to show it off. This team really needs to show off on the series, and we'll be using them for the week, so let's see how this goes. Okay, our first opponent is the 1703 rated player from Japan. I think um, this opponent will be just a, sh a sly short away f from if we win a 1900 rating, and the season ends in a few days, so we'd like to get into 1900s, get into maybe top 5 of the United States. Um, but he's got a team of Azumaro, Salamence, Amoongus, Slash, Terrakion, and Greninja. Very, very fast options. Very slow options as well. Um, hmm, how do I want to deal with this? Griselda is a great Pokemon here. The only thing that my opponent really has for it is Belly Drum, Azumaro, and Amoongus. Yeah, that's pretty much all I, I could see. I guess I would guess the Salamence uh, would be Dragon Dance. Now... Let's see, how do I want to lead this? I don't want to lead Salam... I don't... Hmm, how do I want to lead? Because all my Pokemon are very tempting here. I really like all my Pokemon in this scenario. I definitely do want to lead Cresselia, though, because Cresselia just offers so much pressure against the Salamence, the Amoongus, and the um, Terrakion. He even might lead Azumarill Amoongus, which I'm really expecting here. So Cresselia and Thunderous, because I think that will be able to handle that lead. Uh, he might lead Greninja though, but that's a problem, but it's not the worst. I think I'll have Azumarill on the back, just because Azumarill does really well against Salamence. If I can get it paralyzed, uh, Belly Drum will be useful, and I can also hit the Terrakion. And if that's not Gunk Shock Greninja, I'll be able to do a lot. Now do I want Clefairy in the back? Clefairy could be decent. Kangaskhan could be decent, but I think I'm going to go Clefairy. I'm not going to bring my Mega here, just because uh, you got the Greninja, which could have low kick, Terrakion, which has close combat, Salamence with the Intimidate, the Azumarill, which might even have superpower if it's not a Belly Drum set, but I think it would be. Amoongus, Rocky Helmet damage, uh, just so many different options. He's going to lead Edgeslash and Amoongus? Yeah. Which is fine by me, because I do not have a problem with Amoongus Edgeslash. Okay, what do I want to do here? I definitely want to set up a Calm Mind as quick as I can. I think he's going to spore the Thunder slot and go for Shadow Ball. I think I'm going to go for Swagger on Type of Slash. Yeah, first turn Swagger. Tell me about it, but if I can immobilize this at just Slash for at least one turn and have Cresselia get the Calm Minds up, it's going to be great. And he's actually going to protect Amoongus, which is even better. That's even better for us. Uh, we get Swagger off onto the Edge of Slash, which means it's a 50-50 of him moving. If he has Substitute Edge of Slash, that's going to be a problem. Going to be quite a problem. Um, but Cresselia is faster. We're going to get a nice Calm Mind up. Oh yeah, we're guaranteed to be Timid Edge of Slash. My Cresselia is guaranteed to be Timid Edge of Slash, so we're always going to go first. Now let's see what Edge of Slash is holding. Maybe it's a Life Orb? Life Orb is going to be a problem, though. It's confused, hit yourself. Yes. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Now my Fungus actually carries the item safety goggles, so that's why I'm really not afraid of this Amoongus right now. I think I'm gonna set up another Calm Mind. He's probably gonna King Shield and maybe Spore the Fungus. Or he might Rage Powder just to avoid the Thunderbolt. Or he might even switch out Edge Slash, which is a play I could see, but that just lets Cresselia get free Calm Minds up and 
I think he has to stay in with Edge Slash here. And if it does, I think a Thunderbolt should be able to take it out at this range. Um, Amoongus pretty much has to spore um, Thunderous, I think. There's no way you're not sporing Thunderous. If you spore Cresselia, I guess it's alright. But if you lose Edge Slash, it's going to be very hard for my opponent to come back from this, in my opinion. He would need, like, Terrakion, Crit Rock Slides, Flinch Rock Slides. Well, Rock Slides one of those moves that can come back from a game, I can tell you that much. He is going to Rage Powder, which is alright by me, because I have Safety Goggles. Safety Goggles Thunderous, my kind of Thunderous. We hit that nice Thunderbolt, picks up the KO on Edge Slash, we get a plus two. A plus two Cresselia, and that's going to make the Moongus which my team kind of struggles against a whole lot easier with his Psychic. And now that he knows I have Saint Goggles, he, if he has the Zoomerill or, and Salamence in the back, he is going to be in a lot of trouble. Since those Pokemon can't really set up, he's going to send out his Salamence. Alright, alright. But, um, the question is, um, does Icy Wind? But I don't have to go for it. I could just go for the Psychic. I can go for the Thunder Wave. Yeah, I'm just going to go for it. He's probably going to protect Silence. It's kind of obvious. But I really wonder how much... A forfeit. Wow. Was not expecting to forfeit there, but... <laughs> I'll take it. I mean... That was a really short battle, and I do apologize that I have to show this off. But I don't actually have much time this week. Uh, even though I came back from... Um, Nationals, I do have some real life um, situations that I have to handle, so this episode might be a bit short because of this battle, but let me explain my thought process just to clear it up. I knew that, um, he knew that if I switched, if he switched out Edge Slash, even though it was confused, and he didn't King Shield obviously because he went for Rage Powder thinking Thunders didn't have safety goggles, um, basically he would have made Chris again another calm mind up and Nothing on his team could really handle that. So, I knew he was going to stay in blade form. He was going to go for that attack. Kind of, kind of, um, 50-50s there. I mean, there were some things I think my opponent could have done was, like, spore. And maybe switch it out, but I didn't really think... He, I thought he might spore, but I wasn't sure about the rage powder. I knew he was going to definitely stay in with Edge Slash and attack, but... Yep. And basically, that just shows how Edge Slash, even though it's one of the most common Pokemon, cannot handle the swagger. Anyway, we're gonna fight second battle, and if it's a short one, I'll maybe have a third battle. So we'll be right back. All right, seven so from the United States with a 1659 rating will be our second opponent today. Bring a primate with Mega Blaziken. Maybe it's normal Blaziken. It could be a uh, Mega Aerodactyl. This is a very interesting team, though. Um, of course, it looks like a few physical attackers, but that Defiant is going to kind of scare away my Landorus. Which Landorus actually does have a good matchup against. He doesn't have many spread moves other than Rock Slide, though. Azuma is going to be a problem. Azuma is going to be a problem. I honestly have n I think Kang Clefairy is the right call here. Yeah, I think it's the right call here because if he lead, is it? He might lead Azumarill Raichu. Do I lead Kang at Azu? Kang Azumarill. I mean, it's very solid. Maybe have. Yeah, I think I'm going to have Clefairy in the back since he doesn't have much redirection. And... Cress is alright, I just don't want to bring it. I'm going to bring Thunders instead. The reason I'm bringing Thunders is once I get rid of Raichu, uh, Thunders will be able to do a lot of work. And... I really can't see him not bringing... He might leave Raichu... Uh, Raichu Primate. Which wouldn't be that actually bad. Let's see. Uh, Kangaskhan and Azumaro. Of course, I actually don't think I led this really all tournament. Primate Raichu. I, I called it. I called it. I called it. Um, don't know what this wants to do. I mean, he's probably gonna fake out Oz. He can fake out either.
I think I'm going to switch out to Clefairy. And protect. I think I could set up an easy belly drum here. I really think I could set up an easy belly drum here and just sweep. Um, because Clefairy should be able to take a close combat. Let's see what, let's see, let's see what my opponent goes for. Probably fake out close combat. It's a close combat. Probably the Thunderbolt then. <laughs> that did nothing. That did nothing. You are pathetic. That is pathetic damage. Thunderbolt onto the Azumaro. No surprise there. And I'm just going to follow me. Man, that close combat did nothing. Do I want to set up the belly drum? I kind of do. I really do. I really do. Just because belly drum is just so much pressure on my opponent right now. Uh, close combat, I would assume he's Scarf then. Because there's a prime that doesn't have to be the Jolly Kang unless he thinks he knows I'm Adamant Kang. Maybe he knows me from... Um, my regionals report, well, not regionals report, technically it was on Pokemon.com. I'm still using the same Kangaskhan as I did in Madison, so it's an adamant. He's going to withdraw Primate, which is even better. Uh, go into Edge Slash, which is fine. Oh, but we're going to have some problems here. Actually, no, we won't. We won't. Thunderbolt doesn't do that much here. We do step the free Belly Drum, which is really nice. Alright. Hmm. Does this Vajra protect? Probably it doesn't. I'm gonna follow me. I'm gonna Aqua Jet, D Raichu, break it to Focus Ash. He'll go. If he goes for another Thunderbolt, I mean, Clefairy lives it, plus the Flash Cannon or Shadow Ball or whatever it's coming the way. Um, Azumo should be able to take a Shadow Ball or Flash Cannon if it's not Life Orb. I really want to break this Raichu's Focus Ash right away, so. I'm hoping that's not going to be much of an issue. We are going to get an Aqua Jet off onto this Azum Raichu. Uh, bring it down to the Focus Sash, so it is carrying the Focus Sash. Encore is actually going to come out from the uh, Raichu, which is an interesting play. Maybe expecting me not to follow me, but really there was no reason not to follow me there, as I don't want to take any damage. Flash Cannon coming out onto the uh, Clefairy slot. That's going to pick up the Knockout, which is fine by me. That's fine by me. Because I'll bring out Kangaskhan, I'll, I threaten the Edgeslash with Sucker Punch, I threaten the Raichu with Aqua Jet, he has no priority unless he has like Quick Attack for some reason, uh, and Fake Out's already been used, I'm going to Sucker Punch, I'm going to Aqua Jet, and his Edgeslash we learn is not the, um, the Life Art variant, so unless his Choice Specs, it shouldn't be knocking me out. Or unless it gets a crit, which a crit could happen. I mean, a crit isn't the most unlikely thing. Uh, but whatever he does here, he's going to be quite in some trouble. Just because I am threatening with double priority. He's actually going to withdraw Raichu, which is a great move on his part. Aerodactyl is actually coming in now. Is this? I think this was the Mega Aerodactyl. We are going to Mega Ball with our Kangaskhan. So we're going to gain a nice Mega Evolution. Threatening with the Sucker Punch. Who's probably going to King Shield? Yep. We're seeing the King Shield. Uh, which is understandable, but really, as long as I'm saving the Azumarill, I'm good here. Sucker Punch into the, uh, um, the Edge of Slash. And we know that Raichu had to focus Sash, so nothing's coming out. And Aerodactyl's going down. Uh, now the mind game's kicking. Raichu is coming out. Now, I don't know what item this Edge Slash is carrying. Hmm. If he has Faint, we're going to have some issues. Um, I think I'm going to Power Punch the Raichu slot. Ah, uh, but... Uh, and Protect... Yeah, I think I'm going to go for it. I mean, if he has faint, we're going to be in a few problems, but I think we should live. He does have faint. Great play by my opponent. Into the Raichu. Not sure if a Shadow Ball will get us, but we do get a plus one. 
So, at least that's some... Oh, wait. We're not screwed. We're not screwed. Actually, we're not screwed at all if he KOs our Azumarill. So, I'm actually fine if he KOs Azumarill. But if you don't, that's game over for you. Definitely. The reason is I have Protect on this Kangaskhan so I can Thunder Wave the uh, Primate Protect. He can't do anything about it. He actually... Ah, that's a crit. That's a crit. We don't know that would have KO'd. We don't know that would have KO'd. Okay, we're going to send a Thunderous. We're going to send another Thunderous. And we gonna protect. We gonna thunder wave. Yeah. And if this primary pass protects, I think it's scarf. It has to be scarf. You really have to be scarf. Yep. We do get a thunder wave. <laughs> this is intense. Let's see what you go for. I think you have to go for close combat. No, he goes for oxide. Good play. Will that bring Thunders in range, though? Yeah, I don't think that's Shadow Ball range. I think we'll live. Uh, we live. Yeah, we live. And I think Azumar would have lived without the crit, which is unfortunate. We're just going to return to Primeape. And we'll Swagger, Thunder Wave. We'll Swagger the Edge Slash. He's not going for King Shield. That's a really good play on his part. I mean, I guess he might have a chance of winning, but if this was a real event, I would just go for the time saw and we would guarantee the win. Return going to go on to the Prime Ape. That's a frail, frail Prime Ape. I guess I could have Sucker Punch and Sky Drop. Actually, that would have guaranteed me the game. I should think about these plays more. Um, but he hits himself, so that's going to guarantee us the game. Because we can just Sucker Punch, Thunder Wave, and he has to attack eventually. Yeah, if I just sky dropped the prime maybe and sucker punch the edge slash, I would have won the game. Looks like he's gonna stay in blade form, so maybe he went for a substitute. But even then, uh, I don't know. Yeah, we're gonna get sucker punch, and we're gonna win this game. So I don't know. I think I still would have won this game, and if this was like a real event, um, I definitely would have played better. Trust me, guys, I definitely would have played better. I wouldn't have played like that at a real event. Well, I maybe I would have, but. Yeah, if I had just sky dropped the Prime Ape and Sucker Punch the Edge Slash, his Edge Slash would have gone down. And um, my Thunderous is faster than my Kangaskhan, so the sky drop would have happened. Return would have got him. So yeah, it was all good. We were going to win that game either way. But that was kind of a bit of sloppy thinking at the end there. I really got to stop doing that. It's a habit. But anyway, two really short games today. I do apologize. That's how we're doing it for coming back here. But... I mean, daily videos every day coming back. I mean, who could complain? Um, there's also going to be a schedule change I'm going to announce in about a few days for summer. So definitely check that out. And it's going to concern the, v it's going to concern the VGC series. Um, won't be that big of an impact, I think. We'll still have good daily episodes, but just something that's going to affect the, the schedule. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this VGC episode. Great to be back. Uh, can't wait for Worlds this year. And hit that like button. Support. Um, suggest team ideas for Worlds. Because coming up short. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.